What is up, people of YouTube? I'm your host, Vernon. This is Floyd Lamb Park. Let's fish that. So recently went on Amazon and bought a box of crankbaits. Uh, they turned out to be a lot better looking than I thought they would be as they were very cheap. So today I'm going to focus on throwing these crankbaits, seeing how they look in the water, seeing if I can't get any bites. Uh, I do not know these lakes as good as I should. Lots of hidden structures everywhere. So to start off I'm going to throw small little lures first just to see if I can get a feel for the lake and then we'll be scaling up to the bigger ones. Right, first cast. There we go guys, first bass on the crankbait.
and off he goes. Sorry? Is that the A bass. A what? A bass. A bass? Yes. A male? Yes. Wow. I didn't think they, I didn't think they had them in here. They're all over. Oh, they're yeah, right. You put him back, huh? Yes. Catch and release. Catch and release. Oh, okay. Wow. Have you caught anything yet? I just got in here. Uh, I, okay. I just set up less than five minutes ago. <laughs> All right. Yeah, so I'm just waiting for Moby Dick over there. Yeah, well, <laughs> good luck. Hopefully he shows up. <laughs> so what were you, what, what were you using? Oh, just a... Okay. little crankbait. Oh. And he took that? Yep. That's pretty good size. Alright guys, just missed this little small one, had a few follow arounds but didn't get any bites. Gonna throw this around a bit in the other lakes as well, uh, it's getting late, I uh, don't think we're gonna get any more bites today. There we go guys, another small little bass. So these crankbaits ended up costing about $2 each, which is very cheap compared to other crankbaits out there. Thusly, I expected them to be a bit on the cheap side, but I was very surprised to find that they actually have very good paint shots on there, sturdy sharp hooks, and a very deep growling rattle in them, which is actually quite important depending on what type of lakes you are fishing. If you have a muddy bottom versus a rocky bottom. In these rocky bottom lakes, these deeper sounding lures reverberate a lot better from the bottom than it would in a muddy lake. In the video you might have noticed that I said it's getting late. What I meant by this is that there is a cer certain time frame, something between 11 and 4 p.m. where the bass just don't bite. This is mainly because they tend to go to deeper water or they go into cover. So it is still possible to catch fish during this time, it's just a lot harder to find them. So to sum it all up, don't be afraid to try unknown brands. Um, these days the market is very competitive, uh, the, the unknown guys really have to step up their game to produce good lures. So don't be afraid to, from time to time, try something new. If you like this video, please give us a thumbs up. If you're still seeing the red button that says subscribe, feel free to hit that and subscribe to the channel. If you have any questions, feel free to ask them down in the comments below. Thank you guys for watching. 
and i'll see you next time.